Addictive Trigger is an all-in-one solution for drum replacement. It has outstanding drum hit detection, world-class sounds, and amazing sound shaping features built right in, so you can get to work right away. Now that's all well and good, but let's say you already have drum software that you know and love. Maybe you use Addictive Drums too, or maybe you use one of the other third-party instruments on the market. No problem at all. Addictive Trigger's MIDI export feature makes it easy to work with third-party applications. Let me show you how it works. Here we have a project with a kick, a snare, and two tom tracks. Since we want to capture everything as MIDI data, I've gone ahead and set up Addictive Trigger on each track. First, let's start playback and capture all those drum hits as MIDI data. And there we go. So let's go ahead and stop playback. So as the song was playing, you may have noticed that the MIDI output window starts filling up with event data. These ones right here are the ones from the snare track that we just recorded. Now if you click the MIDI export button, you see all the MIDI events for that track displayed in a larger window. By default, this data is formatted for Addictive Drums 2. But in the drop down menu at the top left, you can choose other formats that you can export to. For today's demo, let's go ahead and choose General MIDI. Now you're only seeing the snare events on this track, but let's say you wanted to capture everything from all of the tracks. No problem, all you have to do is click the Merge Tracks button. There. Now you've got all of the events from the kick, the snare, and the tom tracks in one place. Now you can simply drag and drop that to your DAW's Arrange window. So let's close this window and go ahead and solo that track just to see how it sounds. Keep in mind, you're no longer hearing Addictive Trigger. The MIDI data that we captured just now is being used to trigger a third-party drum application.